Hi everyone, thank you for watching uh, this video. For those who don't know me, my name is Andrew Frame and I am the pastor in Knocknagoni Parish Church. Uh, during this lockdown, I'm releasing uh, a wee video just during the week um, where I'll be reading from a psalm, sharing some reflections on the psalm and um, leading some uh, prayers. Hopefully you find this helpful and encouraging. Let's begin by pausing and then I'm going to pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son Jesus Christ came to save us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal <clears throat> through him who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uh, this evening's reading is from Psalm uh, 3. O Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. I guess as we watch the news at the minute, uh, we're just uh, overwhelmed by the different things that, that we see. Um, we're just thinking, like, there's one thing after another. What's next? What else can happen uh, in, in our uh, society and in our world? And 2021, as we moved into it, was supposed to be uh, this year of hope. Surely it can't be as bad as the previous uh, year. But here we are in another lockdown. Uh, and unlike the previous lockdown, the initial one back in uh, March, April, May, June, where it was really, really sunny weather, it was really warm weather, uh, we meet this year with um, ice and with rain. And it's just bleak uh, outside. Um, we're unable to meet with friends or family or go to the places we like to go to. And we're thinking, when will this ever end? Surely uh, we were promised this vaccine. We thought it would be back to normal or moving towards normal. And we just hear that things are getting even, even worse. And that's just the general circumstances. What about those of you uh, who are struggling with personal circumstances? Some of you uh, are, are struggling with illness of loved ones or even yourself. Some are in mourning following the death of a loved one. Some are struggling financially, struggling to make ends meet. And some are trying to homeschool uh, children or at the very least control them and get through to the end uh, of the day. This psalm that we read is a song uh, of lament that then became a morning prayer. It's uh, a psalm of David and the context is that his own son is leading a revolt against him. So he has fear, anxiety and heartbreak. The first couple of verses describe this dilemma and the issue. And he says, look how many are my enemies. And he says, the people are, are taunting me and saying that God has deserted me. But then we move into verse 3 uh, and David's response. Three uh, powerful words, but you, Lord, but you, Lord. You're my shield, my protection. You're my glory, my victory over the circumstances, the provision. You lift my head from a posture of shame and humility. I lie down and sleep because you help me to sleep and sleep is a sign of peace. He says, I wake because God sustains me. God has the strength to get up out of bed in the morning. So with this shift of focus, we then come to the last couple of verses which describe um, David's action in response to this. It says he cries out to God, deliver me. Save me. Deal with my enemies, the problem. It's an understanding that it's God who fights the battles. He has trust that salvation and a way through the circumstances uh, will come from God. This expectation of blessing, which describes happiness and prosperity, is such a change from the first uh, couple of verses. 
One person has said that this psalm describes uh, the secret to effective prayer where he begins with worship and calling to mind the character of God. And then with this growing faith, he has the crying out in expectation that God will answer his prayer. The focus moves from the size of the problem to the size of his God. He goes from anxiety through trust and thanksgiving to expectant prayer. I wonder if this psalm resonates with you. Uh, I wonder if you see the problems uh, all around. I wonder if you despair of what's going on uh, in our world. I wonder if you're in desperation about your own circumstances. Well, from this psalm, the response uh, is a number of things. <clears throat> and it's this, to lift your eyes and your focus off the circumstances and on to God. God is our protector. He's our deliverer our victory over our circumstances. He's the God of peace who helps us to sleep. He's our sustainer who helps us to get up in the morning. As David did, cry out to him for salvation and delivery through whatever it is you're struggling with or are consumed by. Cry out to him and ask for his peace and for his strength to sustain you. Call him to arise in his power to intervene in your circumstances. Trust in him. As the children's song goes, he's a great big God. And as David describes, there's blessing to be found in him. Let's take a few moments uh, to reflect quietly uh, on the psalm. Father God, I thank you that you are indeed a great big God and you're a powerful God and you're the God of majesty. I thank you that regardless of the magnitude of our circumstances that you can work through them and in them and that you, and that you can deliver us uh, through them we ask for your peace and for your strength we ask for the strength to get up uh, in the morning we ask for peace to be able to sleep at night and we ask that you show us uh, the way through and that we will indeed experience your blessing and whatever that looks like in our lives now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.